Hello there Aries and welcome to your oracle messages. I hope as always that you guys are doing good out there. Okay Aries. So let's go ahead and find out what do you need to know right now about your current situation for Aries. Something's going to change in your love life. That's just what I'm getting. Let's see what comes out. Uh, oh yeah. Look at that. Some type of, um, oh, this is good Aries. <laughs> We've got some type of commitment headed your way, or some of you guys, you may increase. Uh, well, I don't know. What, I, want, I, I guess I want to say increase, but maybe there's like a higher levels of commitment, okay, if you're currently involved with someone, okay? But um, I am getting this real sense of you guys feeling very complete. There's something and someone for a lot of you guys when it comes to some type of fulfillment or something that is very promising, okay? So... Look at this, Aries. We got engagement ring. We've got this card that says um, abundance. So we have eternity, completion, union, partnership, engagement, commitment. So keep a positive mindset because you guys really are manifesting what you truly desire. Some of you guys might be manifesting some type of material things like jewelry um, that has some type of meaning for you. So just take that if it resonates. But I do feel that a lot of you Aries are at the, um, either you're at the nine of cups or you're coming into the nine of cups. Okay. So I'm picking up water sign as well as earth sign actually coming through Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Aries, you're doing something right here. Now, I'm also seeing a pull for a lot of you areas when it comes to securing something financially for you as well, okay? So make sure no matter where you're at in your finances, in your material gains, that you're keeping um, a positive mindset and that you're grateful for what you have right now, okay? That's going to be really important. So I feel some type of new doors, um, new opportunity you guys are walking into and stepping into, okay? Um, let's see what else you need to know about your situation, Aries. So Aries, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs. Or feel free to check out past messages as well. Those are all timeless. Let's see what else you guys need to know. Go outside, Aries. Be willing to do some traveling or just change sceneries. Maybe you want to be a little spontaneous, okay? Some of you, Aries, you've been indoors too much or you've been plugged into too much technology, so you need to unplug. So some of you guys, indoors too long, you need to change the scenery, technology too much. I don't know. Go outside and get some fresh air, okay? Um, quit worrying too for some of you guys and just keep looking to the heavens above. Spirit is gifting you guys something to do with your angels as well. So if you've been praying and asking to see signs and guidance from them, well, you need to go outside or change something up and don't expect anything. Just allow it to show up for you because when you're not looking, that's when things start making sense and things just start coming to you because now we're not resisting the flow. Okay. There may be something here um, with hair, long hair for some of you Aries, or you know, maybe um, there's some somebody that's of influence that has some uh, beautiful, luscious, long hair here. Uh, take that if it resonates, don't worry if it doesn't. Um, let's see what else for Aries. You know, Aries, oh, let's just get those two. I'm also getting Empress energy coming through here too with these two cards here. So make sure some of you guys, you know, you're doing what you can to feel really good and confident about your own self. Um, you know, the older ones out there, 18 and plus, yeah, make sure that you guys are feeling good, uh, feeling comfortable or work towards feeling confident in your own skin. Uh, pamper yourself. This is a good time to really explore and um, tap into your own uh, sexuality as, as well and owning that, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, speaking of, um, the Empress. Yeah. I just feel that this is a good time to really pamper oneself no matter what. Look at this palm tree. I was just talking to you guys maybe about, um, vacation or change of scenery. I'm just kind of picking that up with the palm tree here, but look at this Aries. You guys are opening up to something that is really promising. Again, something very promising, secure, Okay, so some of you, you just need a little bit of umph right now. You need a little something to keep you motivated to keep your endurance going. Um, so as long as you guys can stay flexible, 
spirit's going to um, really help you guys. Now, I am seeing, I'm seeing for a lot of you, Aries, something new and someone new to connect with. I am getting page of pentacles actually coming through. So either some of you guys got some type of new employment or new ways of making money, or maybe j just, you know, some unexpected uh, financial gain or maybe a missed bill, who knows? But anyhow, um, I feel that you guys need to take an opportunity and it's gonna come at a time when you guys aren't looking for the opportunity, okay? So we have some um, meeting here, conversing, uh, conversing, savoring the moment. Okay, let's talk about savoring the moment because I was getting the nine of cups, okay? So that's a card of, you know, gratitude, um, looking and feeling, you know, looking and utilizing all of your blessings right now, okay? Um, feeling uplifted and friendship. So whether it's friendship, soulmate, some, some, something is opening up here for you, Aries. That's going to make you guys feel really good. Okay. Some downtime, um, you know, just enjoying someone here. So maybe some of you Aries, you know, coffee is a, a thing for you, or maybe you want to start going out to coffee shops or cafes or things like that. And maybe people watch or meet some friends here. Um, I feel a lot of you just need to be flexible when it comes to different opportunities to engage with others or to expand your own awareness. Okay. What else for Aries? Okay, Aries, what's up with that? <laughs> okay, you guys got to be strong. Ooh, yeah, this, ooh, look at this. Mm. I'm getting Libra energy coming through as well as your energy, uh, Ar uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> This situation is going to be ha um, handled in a fair and just manner. You guys just need to stay strong. I, I feel for a lot of you, Aries, you're you're just needing to allow the universe to make uh, things balance for you. So there's a situation right now where use your wisdom and your knowledge uh, to have an advantage over a situation. A lot of you guys have some type of new contract here, some type of new agreement, some type of new partnership. Um, and this is to balance whatever has gone down in the past. Okay. So a lot of you Aries, what I see is you have been reaping good karma. So keep moving forward in a place that, yeah, maybe sometimes making the best decisions and the right decision really isn't the easiest, but it's the right thing to do. And you need to honor what's right for you too, Aries. What's going to give you guys the most enjoyment the most, um, you know, sense, well, I would say what would give you guys the sense of feeling not only independent and strong, but cherished, loved and respected. Okay. I do feel that there is something that a lot of you guys feel that something was not handled in a fair way, or you're just having to stick through um, a situation right now and just allow the universe to show you, um, how things are coming together to make things right for you. Okay. So a lot of you need to uh, be fair to yourself <laughs> and don't give in or don't settle, especially if it takes you away from being strong here. Look at that. You're stronger than you think you are and your strength, your strength Aries, assures is a happy outcome. Some type of news or information or some type of new friendship or connection will make you guys feel better. So be open to doors that are opening up for you. What else for Aries? Oh, okay. Okay, Strega. Yeah, more about you guys having endurance right now. I feel a lot of you Aries just need to get back to the basics and start believing that no matter where you're at in life, I don't care how young or old you think you are. I really don't. Wherever you're at in life, you can always, you can always manifest or create something out of nothing. And you're given, you're being given the opportunity right now to really, um, you know, engage with the things that you guys have already put forth and enjoy what you guys have worked for. Okay. So maybe some of you guys, some of you guys might be a little bit hung up because I'm getting like world card too, but I feel that it's, it's kind of like Aries. You're, you're trying to, it's almost like you're trying to perfect something to come into completion here and you don't need to. It's, it's just happening anyways. Pay attention to things that could put you guys backwards though, or make you guys feel that you're going, um, you know, maybe 
in a pattern that could be cyclical because something is absolutely changing for you guys, okay? Now, I do see favor in legal or, um, you know, legal, legal matters for some of you guys, okay? And um, I do see not for a lot, not all of you, but there, there's uh, some of you guys that um, just got divorced or you've made some type of ending and some type of significant contract, whether it was marriage, business, um, work or, you know, employment or something like that. And spirit is saying, keep moving forward. Okay. Cause you guys are creating out of nothing because you are capable of doing so. So I do get this, this sense of you guys, um, it's just standing up for what you believe is right for you. Okay. It's really important not to go backwards either at this point. What else for Aries? Aries, it's about you guys feeling a sense of recovery. And you know, what I loved is that this landed, this recovery card landed on the palm tree, the coffee cup and being strong here. Okay. So this was all about stability, security, growth. So spirit is saying, just concentrate on your own recovery right now. Some of you guys, you know, take, carve out some time, put something in your schedule or, you know, make a plan to do something different, go outside, whatever. Okay. You are in a state of recovering and feeling good about yourself. Okay. So you need to honor that. That's a very sacred thing that's happening here because you're getting ready to just open the floodgates of new opportunities, new situations. Okay. Or just feeling really good about yourself, feeling like your life is bearing fruit. Okay, no matter where you're at. What else for Aries? I'm also seeing this thing about you, Aries, engaging with life, okay? Do what you guys gotta do, engage with life, especially if it's, you know, helping you guys recover or making you guys feel good, okay? You guys are ready. Yeah, you guys are going to have someone here. You're destined to have some type of uh, significant partnership here. Wow. A uh, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. Hello. Look at that. This is really beautiful, Aries. So um, whatever is going on here with your love life, you guys just need to keep a positive mindset. Uh, this is a really strong uh, situation when it comes to a soulmate or some type of agreement here that's compatible with you. Okay. I was, I was thinking maybe some of you Aries might, you know, you may connect with a Sagittarius or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius placements in your chart and you may resonate with Sagittarius's reading in this series. Okay. More uh, water sign coming through something going on with the mother here, Aries. So maybe you guys are a mother. Um, maybe there's some mother healing issues that we need to do. Whatever you guys got to do, come into a, you know, come into a place of being peace with yourself. Now, some of you Aries, you're mothers, um, and there's something going on here. Okay. So you need to have confidence in your ability to guide and teach, um, you know, your children here without feeling bad or guilty. Um, some of you, there may be something significant with a mother figure or some type of strong mother influence. So just do what you guys got to do right now with your feelings towards your mother or some type of feminine influence, um, you know, that may have been challenging here because once you guys do that, you know, this is all about you guys feeling recovery here. Um, your desires are going to manifest more rapidly and not only rapidly, but accurately because I'm seeing someone who's very focused here. Okay, let's see. What else for Aries? Oh my gosh. So Aries, yeah, some of you guys, um, there, there's a sense of feeling, sep you know, you have a bond here or something's going on where we got like the three of swords going on here sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So there is, um, for some of you Aries, you may know someone or they may know of you, whether you guys met or not, or they're in like your circle or coming towards you. 
there's definitely this pull that's happening. Now that I said that, I do feel a lot of you Aries may resonate with um, the last SOS reading, which is someone's Oracle messages that was published before this, these series. So you may resonate with that as well. Um, this is about self-appreciation. You got to focus on yourself right now. So whatever is going on, um, you know, pay attention to where you're putting your energy and um, your focus on Aries. Uh, because if it starts to make you feel bad or deplete you, then this is when we need to redirect that en energy and start doing something that helps helps you guys feel loved, okay, and feel good. And you got to do this on your own. So t take time to heal if you need to, because a lot of you guys are coming into getting over. A lot of you guys are actually getting over some type of um, heartbreak. This is what you're recovering from. I do sense for some of you Aries, you you um, you may already know about this of someone that is sad and missing you, thinking of you, yearning. Okay, but right now, you need to let karma and fate take the course right now and just take a step back. Okay, what you need to show up and who needs to show up for you will. Yeah, for some of you guys, I feel like, you know, there may be a need to rebalance um, a situation within ourselves here if we're overindulging in things that could, you know, take away from us feeling healed or um, recovered in a sense, okay? What else for Aries? So Aries, let me get a little bit more with this resistance. I do feel that there's something strong right now about you guys just, you know, moving forward and having confidence in that. Yeah, th there's something about you guys resisting situations that could take you guys back or make you feel like you're going backwards because there is a, a new union that's happening, not only between you and spirit, but some type of new agreement partnership that is very abundant here. Okay. I mean, Aries, there's a strong thing about like marriage here, marriage of your higher self and spirit and also in the physical realm. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys end up being life partners with someone or marriage, or there's just a situation here where no matter what Aries, you are going to be very strong in your life. Okay. And you don't need to worry about anything, but some of you guys, there may be a need to not resist what's happening here because you are coming into some type of union <laughs> you're coming into some type of new commitment a spiritual commitment or a contract here okay and look at this this is what spirit is saying use your wisdom right now to stay resistant towards things that could you know maybe make you guys feel bad or pull you into old situations or habits that you know aren't helping you grow okay because spirit is saying you are a channel for divine healing power um, to manifest. Remember, we had this thing about manifesting accurately and rapidly. So have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered and just expect a miracle. You guys have done a really good job. And I know it's been very difficult for a lot of you Aries, but you know, you need to honor your sacred past right now, your path right now, because you're coming into an a spiritual alignment here with the divine. And that needs to take, that really needs to take hold first before we get into some beautiful spiritual union, right? So that we have something that this is growing from. Love, <laughs> pure love. All right, let's see what else you guys need to know for your situation. Yeah, look at this. Look at fairness and being strong right between these two. Wow, this is pretty much justice card. We got healthy choices. So maybe we need to, you know, uh, t maybe take self inventory, you know, making healthy choices. Where can you start right now? And I will say for a lot of you Aries, don't get hung up or feel bad or guilty or ashamed or worried about yesterday or a minute ago. Just start right now, right? Making healthy choices in your love and life. We were just talking about that. 
This is about you guys making these healthy choices that are honoring you and your sacred path here. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. No wonder I keep getting Empress energy, and even she's coming out mother. So we do need to take care of ourselves. Some of you guys, you're just going to have to mother yourself in the best possible way, okay? Do the little things that make you guys feel um, uh, beautiful or good, okay? Whatever these are, this is the time to take hold of it right now and don't worry about yesterday, okay? What else? Because a lot of you guys have had, had uh, big lessons when it came to healthy choices, healthy relationships, healthy habits, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> oh, someone does, somebody likes you. <laughs> Somebody's falling in love or they will fall in love. This, I really, yeah, Aries, you, you would resonate with the last SOS reading, okay? Unconditional, loving, giving, and receiving. Now, I like this because here the scales is even. So we are in a state of giving and receiving equally. So this is an, a partnership that is equal, Oh my gosh, somebody might, might be wanting to blow you kisses too, Aries. So, oh, we got some, we got something at play here when it comes to your love life. Okay, what else? Oh, this one wants to come out. Oh my gosh, there may be something here, you Aries, okay? But don't obsess about it, but there could be something here with meeting someone as you guys are out and about, okay? Or... Something's going to happen when it starts to ignite chemistry. Aries, you guys got some kind of crazy passion, love going on. Or, you you know, come on. And look at this. Does that, what does that word say? Oh, I love it. Look at that. What does that say? Equally. Like each other equally and having fun. Insane chemistry. Oh, Aries, this is good stuff. Oh, my God. Aries, I can't. Oh, Aries, there's something so cute and adorable happening here with your love life or some type of new friendship or partnership. Put this in your situation, okay? <laughs> but you're going to meet someone new, so you need to get out there. Look at this plan and set a date. We got date. We got coffee. I mean, maybe vacationing here with someone or, you know, exploring the outdoors with someone. Hello, meeting someone new. It's going to have insane chemistry, okay? <laughs> so get back out there for some of you Aries. Okay, don't hide in your house. Let's see, what else for Aries? Okay. A peaceful resolution. Look, fairness. There's something about you guys just being okay with how things are working out right now in your life, no matter what the circumstances look like, okay? You're going to have some type of peaceful resolution. So this is a good thing, Aries, and this is what you want. Now, a lot of you Aries, something or someone will help you guys get over a heartbreak or, you know, some type of situation where we may be feeling a lack of connection, okay? So open yourself up to new situations and new things and to feel very peaceful about yourself and what's happening. What else? I do see some of you Aries that are really close to your moms, your mom out there, your grandma, maybe um, if they're on the other side that they, they are really connecting with you as well, okay? But let's continue and see what else you need to know about your situation. Oh my gosh, you're talking about passion, holy crap. Look at this, go outside, something, oh my goodness, go outside, bright future. And we got, look at, oh my gosh, look at how it came out. Okay, Cupid's arrows, passion. There's something going on here when it comes to um, an abundant, um, an abundance of opportunities here. Some of you guys might find yourself traveling or um, you might, you know, this might be really fast and things could take off passionately here. So um, for those of you that are still fertile, you know, be careful, okay? Because, you, know, you know, unless you guys want little humans, okay? But anyhow, that's just a little side note because I'm just seeing a lot of chemistry, insane chemistry, like, woo, this is, this is good, Aries. Aries, you guys, um, 
something's going to really take off here, okay? Now, you, you may find yourself a little scattered and not being able to plan for things, and that's okay. Just kind of go with it, right? Let's see. What else for Aries? And you, Aries, you guys are getting a leg up from the divine. I mean, how could you not when you're a divine healing, a, a divine healing, you know, excuse me, a channel for divine healing power and energies, okay? How could you not get, you know, help from this, um, from the heavens above here? Oh my Aries, do you guys see what just came out? The two of cups and, and, and it landed on that bright future and go outside. My goodness, equality. I just, I see so much about equality here. Mutual love and respect. Oh my goodness, this is like insane chemistry. Okay. But, you know, it's good to have that chemistry, right? But, um, you know, this is about you guys feeling a deep connection. That's what's most, what's really important and feeling a sense of, you know, mutual respect for each other here and attraction. Wow. So don't give up on love. You guys are really preparing yourself for someone and something promising here. Okay. So, um, there's a, you know, there's a real big thing about you guys connecting, um, really on all levels here. I, I can see this, like, it's like a physical attraction. It's a spiritual attraction, um, money and things are good, or, you know, there's just a sense of stability here. Okay. We also have a feminine energy again here. So, you know, for some of you Aries, you just need to hear me out. Okay. So listen, take it. If it resonates, some of you guys, if there's a dominating woman in your life, she's either going to give you bless. She's either blessing your life or she's your, or she's giving you a lot of misfortunes. Okay. So you need to be aware of that. I don't care if it's family or not. You guys got to figure something out when it comes to anything or anyone that wants to hold you down or hold you back or control you or dominate you. Okay. So take that if it resonates and won't resonate for all of you. What else for Aries? Start doing morning affirmations. You guys need to change up your routine. That's exactly what I can see going on. Okay, so Aries, maybe get pen and paper or your tablet or your iPad or your phone, whatever you guys like to use. Start writing out things, okay? Start writing out a new routine for yourself that will feel good, healthy choices. Start implementing something right now for, your, for you guys to feel good and abundant. Start doing morning affirmations and say them, okay? Because you guys are opening up the gates of manifestations here, okay? Say positive affirmations each morning each night, whatever, to open up the gates of manifestation. Okay. So we're reprogramming our mind and our spirit here and allowing a peaceful resolution and recovery to happen naturally. You don't have to push, force, find, search, chase after, run after, whatever, hold down. You don't have to do any of that. It's going to happen here. What else? Okay, hold on. Okay, look at that. Hey, self-employment. I was just getting this big boss energy here. King or, you know, this is queen of pentacles, but um, <laughs> I feel a lot of you Aries, you know, there's something strong here about you guys actually loving what you do or coming into, you know, doing something and making money or creating some type of s stability with something that you love to do. And yes, you are a born, you're a born entrepreneur. Your business or your ideas is surrounded by magical opportunities. This is a queen of pentacles. This is a, this is a lady of money here. Okay. Just saying she's, she ain't messing around. She knows her business. She knows what she's doing. She's good. She's real good. Actually, when the queen of pentacles is upright, damn, she's really good. She is that wifey, um, hubby material. Okay. This is that sugar mama, big pop, or who is it? Sugar mama, sugar daddy, but not, not in a sense where they're players. Okay. But, um, they're seeking for security. They're seeking for something long-term here. They're not about short term commitments. Okay. With anything. <laughs> uh, what else for Aries? And some of you Aries, you may actually find a new, um, a new sense of loving your own money and taking hold and charge of your own independence and your own finances. Um, we have games here. 
<laughs> I feel that this is about you guys being the player in your life, getting in the driver's seat of your life and playing the game of life. Take risks, be willing to do things different. Be willing to change up your routine. Be willing to let go of old perceptions as well, okay? Be willing to manifest something new in your life. Now, let's go back to something going on here. I feel that there was something going on uh, for some of you guys where you know that games are being played and you are working really hard to resist that, okay? But pay attention to your own energy level because I don't feel that you Aries need to exert your energy. You just need to concentrate on what makes you guys feel whole and complete um, right now, okay? Let's see. Yeah, I feel that there's something going on here where something might come out, Aries, about there might be something coming out here, communication or information possibly about maybe manipulation or games or something that was unclear here for some of you guys. OK, what else for Aries? Oh, I just was talking about that. Oh, goodness. And it landed on peaceful resolution. Wow. Okay. So we got the snake. <clears throat> um, yeah. Competition. Emony. Uh, Emony. <laughs> uh, enemy. Clever. Malicious. Look over your shoulder. The other woman. Peaceful resolution. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys, there was something with another woman or another man or some kind of situation where we felt... Yeah, something or someone made a decision or did something that was, um, you know, in our eyes or your eyes wrong. <laughs> OK, what did spirit say? The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Some of you guys, you need to resist <laughs> changing or doing anything right now. You becoming the OK, listen, you guys are a channel for divine healing powers here. So. Some of you guys, Aries, I, I will just say that you're going to have to get used to this, but there will be people that are envious of you. There will be people that don't like you and your energy because, you know, sometimes when you are a light being or you're someone that want, who is, you know, pursuing a, um, a path of growth and spirituality or whatever, um, you know, that could trigger people's and maybe sometimes I, I like to say it could trigger their demons. So don't worry about it. OK, you guys don't need to worry about this or something about you guys um, <laughs> taking hold of the snake here. OK, and turning this around in your favor. But yeah, I, I just get something here about some type of games that have been played here or something that was just not right. Now, I will tell you how, for a lot of you guys, doing these things right now, healthy choices, <clears throat> this, is what, this is what helps align, um, uh, you know, you reaping the karma that you deserve, but also aligns whatever somebody else or some situation needs um, some type of, you know, lessons or, you know, just some type of uh, balance, you need to just allow that to happen, okay? Spirit in the universe knows how to make, th make things um, equal. What else for Aries? So, yeah, we're starting on some type of new ritual here. This is about you guys getting into your magician or high priestess energy right now. Um, look at this. We have ritual. You guys, you're doing something right now. Your affirmations, your prayers, you know, expect some type of miracle, something that you're not going to expect here, okay? Now, also, when we come to healthy choices, some of you guys need to look to see if you guys are creating some type of patterns or obsessions or rituals that, you know, maybe they're just, it's out, you're outgrowing and you don't need to do it. Um, but, you know, stay focused. Do something, um, you know, consistently here. Uh, for the most part, when it does come to some type of sacred ritual, um, maybe it's a devotion time, maybe it's meditation time, maybe it's a time for you guys to use your intention um, to manifest, maybe it, this is your affirmation time, you're lighting up some candles, okay? So do things that make you guys feel more empowered and more in control of your life. Not that you feel maybe, not that some of you guys feel that your life is out of control, but... Just putting that out there. Okay, what else for Aries? Oh my gosh, Aries. I'm just seeing um, Ace of Pentacles. 
You guys are opening up some type of opportunity to make money, receive money, um, receive, you know, whatever you guys need, plenty of material things, okay? An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. This is not a joke either. Look at this. Look at this. You got two cards about abundance here. Aries, you, getting, you guys better get ready here. I hope that you guys are summoning some type of enthusiasm or curiosity about what's to come and what's next here. <laughs> Look at that. It's just like, this girl is just like, holy crap. I didn't realize all of that was going to be in there. Ooh, it's like, it's going to be real good for you, Aries. What else for Aries? So Aries, don't focus on um, others right now, especially if it's like the past or people that make you feel a little challenged here. Fo focus on what's to come here. we got a treasure chest. Yep. I just told you, you, you uh, look up to the heavens here. Heaven is absolutely helping you guys. Look, how many times is Spirit saying you guys have prayed? <laughs> it's coming out of two cards here. Your prayers have been heard, right? And then look, you've prayed for help. So get the heck out of the way and let heaven help you. Okay, get out of the way. Now, how do you get out of the way? Well, you get out of the way by just focusing on going outside, doing things right now, play, being playful doing your morning affirmations, maybe focusing on your priorities here, um, not giving into or looking at uh, the past that we feel, because I know some of you Aries, you do feel, you know, like you do want some fairness right now, right? Or you just, you feel that there was something just really wrong here. And I know how important it is for you to get things um, in order and to have things made right. But you know, this is a time where you got to allow spirit to show you that spirit can um, help you make this right. You don't have to force it or control it. Okay. What else for Aries? You guys are going to have some type of friendship. I just get that so much. So some of you Aries, you know, your positive friends or whatever, be willing to connect, be willing to play. I'm just seeing dolphins being very playful. And I was getting that too with going outside. You know, make a date for play day with one or more friends. Now, I will say if some of you Aries are really struggling and feeling sad, this is really when you need to pinch yourself and really make the effort and really reach out. Because I know when we're feeling bad or sad that it could, you know, we, can just, we don't want to be around people. We don't want to do things. But, you know, maybe it's just, you know, getting outside first. Then maybe it's just connecting, okay, with someone um, now, some of you guys, you know, hopefully you're not all alone, um, but be willing to maybe, you know, connect with others or be willing to uh, maybe visit places because, you know, the more you kind of go out or do things, you know, you start building, people start to know you, people, you know, you start building friendships that way, okay? But just get more about you guys allowing yourself some freedom and play time, okay? What card? Oh, it was this card that was there. Okay, let's see. What else for Aries? Ah, oh, Aries. Aries, I just was talking about that. You need to go outside, Aries. You, I know. Gosh, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. I was just talking about that. Let's get a little bit more about heartbroken. So Aries, I know that you guys are sad and heartbroken now and, it, and, and with time, no matter what, no matter what anyone says with time, you will always heal. And look at this. Don't ever from this day forward, Aries, you Aries out there that are resonating with this 100% do not ever doubt your connection with the divine. You are a sacred medicine man, medicine woman. You're a sacred being and you're holding a special purpose. This is why things have to change for you. You, you have to allow d the divine to take over. You've reached some type of level within your awareness, with your own abilities. You've initiated something with spirit. Now you have to learn how to engage with the spiritual realm by letting go, taking it easy, 
and knowing that you are a channel of divine energy here, healing rays, whatever you guys want. Okay. So spirit is really holding you right now. Heaven's hands are holding you. Okay. So if any of you guys are feeling sad or separate, um, you know, or in a situation where maybe some of you guys are just feeling lost, right? You just feel like, oh my goodness, take time. You know, we got this thing about ritual here because something strong is happening with you guys um, and spirit, the angels, God, Jesus, the universe, okay? Communication is happening to you from the other side here to help you guys feel confident and calm. What else for Aries? Okay, Aries. Aries, that butterfly came out. And you know what? I was looking at the butterfly on this heartbroken card right next to her. Pay attention to butterflies. Look at this. Something is happening. Okay. So relationship is evolving to the next phase. Remember we were talking about that now. Ooh, yeah. Some of you Aries. Okay. There's something going on here. Yes. Okay. We'll talk about that. Healing the inner child. We are he healing the inner child there. You're, 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 this is all about growth and you know, coming into a relationship or hitting a next phase in some type of existing relationship. Now, is it possible for some of you Aries that someone could have um, changed because of separation? Yes, because I do see that. But should we count on that and hold on to that idea? No, because you need to focus on what's happening with you and your abilities here and what spirit is gifting to you. You need to concentrate on being very strong right now. So for some of you Aries, um, there's, you know, a, a situation, a strong situation of you coming into a new soulmate connection or a, a soulmate of yours that I would say that there was been some time separated from this person to where, um, this person has had to make some tremendous amount of uh, changes and transformation themselves, okay? So you'll know it too, Aries, um, and you'll know exactly what's the right situation or person to uh, continue with, okay? But I do see that as a possibility for some of you, Aries, but um, I don't like telling you, Aries, to hold on to somebody from the past either, um, because spirit is like gifting you guys uh, a profound perception that spirit is always going to give you guys exactly what you need and who you need at all times of your life. Just if you don't know what to do right now, then just do things that make you guys feel um, grateful for what you have right now, no matter how big or small or whatever you guys got. Okay. And just focus on that because the energy of gratitude is really aligned with love. So when you're aligning with that energy of love, we're, we're vibrating at love. We're releasing too. You're releasing a lot of karma as your, your body is holding love, which is divinity. You got a lot of power. I feel like this card wants to show itself too. I'm just finding it a little bit interesting that it's on the eight of wands. Okay. Attraction. Oh my gosh. Yes. The eight of wands. Oh my goodness. You guys. Ooh. Okay. I just see you guys flirting, dating, having attraction here, you know, being a little seductive if you want to. I mean, come on. We got the queen of pentacles. She's definitely can be very seductive with the right person. Okay. Now don't be tempted for some of you guys. Now <laughs> there may be something going on here with temptation and third party interference interference. So let's get a little bit more with this. Uh, seduction here for you, Aries. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Okay. You guys are going to, oh my God, you too. Maybe some of you guys have Scorpio placements in your chart. You may resonate with Scorpio's reading too, possibly, but you know, don't overdo it. Just do what it feels right for you. Okay. Spirit's got a secret gift for you. And the thing is, is you guys are really stepping into your king and queen power. Okay. This deck does not have a king in it. So is king or queen. We have the queen of pentacles. <laughs> okay. So this is a time for you guys to feel what spirit is gifting you guys. Some of you Aries are really rising up in your status here. And that's, what's really important. This is why some of you guys are feeling 
You know, we had to separate. We had to, we had to do something here. There, there had to be change here. So you guys can figure out how strong you are and to open up some type of up leveling in your status. Okay. And spirit is gifting you guys some type of secret gift here. And not all can be revealed. So spirit is saying things are a secret right now on purpose and spirit's not going to reveal everything. Okay. So practice, um, you know, stepping into your king and queen power that that doesn't mean we dominate others. That just means we're understanding our own value. We're understanding our own um, divinity and what we're worth and what we appreciate. And if someone has some of you Aries, you know, I get this thing too, where, um, something about secrets here too. So there could be something where maybe some of your Aries are worried that some secrets are going to come out and, um, spirit is saying, you don't, you don't need to worry. Okay. You can trust spirit with your secrets. Okay. Now that won't resonate for all of you, but maybe for some, but also, you know, Aries, if someone has, cause I see you Aries as someone that, um, if someone wants to share something with you, you know, you have this ability and your, this integrity to really keep that a secret. And that's a real sacred and, and a, a beautiful blessing uh, to have. Okay. Um, yeah. Get ready, guys. You guys are going to be flirty. I mean, just it's going to be some fun times for a lot of you guys. Okay. Uh, what else for Aries? Aries, I... Oh my gosh, this is just really strong here. <laughs> it's like, you got a deal. Spirit's got you. Okay. More about this union. It's a mystery. Some of you guys, it's just a mystery and you need to give it that. You just need to like accept that it's a mystery for some. Okay. But you can be assured that, I mean, we got something strong here when it comes to unions, commitment promises. Okay. So Remember the promises that you made for yourself too, and honor that. Okay. And stay resistant towards things that could, um, you know, thwart you off of your path or discourage you. You're ready. You're ready, Aries. Okay. What else for Aries? Okay. That's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping you, Aries. How is spirit helping Aries? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at Aries, a new, a new dawn. So Aries, remember we were talking about that heartbreak or sadness and you know, we had, we had some things going on. That's okay. Spirit's helping you guys really with the worst. The worst really is behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon and spirits helping you guys manifest. You see that more about manifesting something new. So, and, and more about rapidly here, look to manifest rapidly. Think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Start listening to music more. Do what you guys got to do here. Okay. To get yourself into a higher vibration, because I know a lot of you guys, you, you felt like you've been pulled down, right? Your vibration had to get pulled down here. Well, spirits pulling you back up. So anyways, I hope that was helpful, Aries. Love and light. Take care.